dear viewers, welcome back to Cybrosis. Today we are venturing into the exciting world of multilingual websites with Odoo 70. Have you ever dreamt of reaching a wider audience with your website but felt limited by language barriers? Well, fret no more. Odoo 17 empowers you to break down those barriers and showcase your business to the world, one language at a time. This video is all about multi-languages and language translation in the website module of Odoo 70. Let's open the website. Here is the website. I'm opening it. And once you open the website, you have to go to the configuration settings. So here in the configuration settings, you can see an option which is called languages and also an option where you can set the default languages. So under languages, you have already installed these most languages. And that's the reason why here comes an option called default. Out of all the installed languages, one among them can be chosen as the default language. Now, if you want to add a language which is not there in the languages you've chosen, you have the option to install the languages. So simply click on install languages there. And from here, you can see the drop down and out of the drop down, you can choose any of the language which you desire. Okay. So if I'm choosing Spanish means once the language is selected, you can choose the website to translate. So I'm choosing both and click on add. So what happens is that the website has been installed. Okay, the installation process is taking place. And once the website is installed, you can add them to the languages of your website. So it's loading. Let's wait for it to get completed. Once the installation is completed, Odo will be asking or Odo will be simply telling us that installation is successful. And if you want to switch to Spanish completely, that is, if you click on switch to Spanish and close, what happens is that the whole interface text will change to Spanish. If you simply click on close, means the language will be installed, but the interface language will remain the same. So I'm clicking on close. That's how you add or install more languages and then set a default language. Okay. So once it's done, you can go to the website here. Okay. So currently website, I've already chosen a different language. So here underneath, you can see different languages which we have created. Now I'm putting back to English. Okay. So you can see the website is in English. Now here also you have the option to add the languages. So these are the languages which we have added in the languages section of the configuration settings. So I'll do one thing. I'll change it to Spanish. Okay. So the text has completely changed to Spanish. So you can see it here. Okay. If you want to change it to Hindi, you can click on Hindi over here. Okay. And so the language will be changed. Okay. So let's put it to some other random language. So I'm putting to Spanish itself. And this is how the languages work. Now let's talk about the language translation. Okay. Top right corner of the screen, just after the edit button, you can see this translate button. Click on that, which will help you to translate the text. Okay. So the translation is uh, in progress. So you can see a confirmation message. You are about to enter the translation mode. Here, the, here are the visuals used to help you translate efficiently. So you can see two colors, which is yellow and green. So yellow denotes to the content to translate and green shows the translated content. Okay, so in this mode, you can only translate text. To change the structure of the page, you must edit the master page. Each modification on the master page is automatically applied to all translated versions. So this is how the translation works. You can see green is actually the translated ones and yellow are the ones which are not translated. Okay, so that's how you do it. The customization can be done from here. And once you're done, you can simply click on save or discard over here. So this is how basically the multi-language and the language translation in website of Odoo works. So it's that simple. It's very easy to manage the languages as well as the translation. So here on, under the website that is from the front end as well as the back end, you can manage what the language. Okay. Multiple languages can be installed. They can be set as a default language and so much more can be done using the website model. Now we have already seen how the translation works. Okay. So that's it. So don't let language barriers hold you back. Okay. By leveraging Odoo 17's multi-language website functionalities, you can expand your reach, attract new customers and take your online business to the global stage. 
So thanks for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Odoo tutorials. Remember, the world is your oyster when it comes to reaching customers with Odoo 17. So translate your website, break down those language barriers and watch your business flourish internationally. Thank you.